Today on the Forensics Detailing Channel, we're gonna cover how to make your own panel wipe and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of doing so and how to negate some of those disadvantages. With the end result, saving a significant amount of money without compromising your results. making your own effective homemade panel wipe. Let's go through what you're gonna need. First up, distilled or deionized water and plenty of it. So I've got about three or four of these left. You can buy it in 25 liters for, for not a lot of money. And I think about 14, 15 quid. Um, handy as well as if you do your own coolants, you know, change the coolant in your car, you need to use this stuff rather than tap water, ideally. Um, you are going to need 99% proof um, isopropanol alcohol or IPA and I'll give you links where you can get all this stuff for good prices and finally um, a surfacant called SLES or sodium lauryl ethyl sulfate so that's a, like I say it's a surfacant you will need a funnel and you will need a measuring device that can measure about 500 millilitres at least and you are going to need a sort of uh, dispenser so a spray bottle that holds at least a litre or a little pump sprayer is ideal when you're when you're removing polishes, polish residue as part of um, you know polishing a car. You don't want to have to keep squeezing, so it's just a pump sprayer is my recommendation. That is all the equipment. Now let's cover the ratios of each component, what each component is doing in order to make this this panel white product. So first up, the water. We want to use around 670 millilitres of this water. So there's 500 and there's 170, give or take the odd millilitre. Next up, the IPA, we are going to be using Uh, around about 300 millilitres of 99% of proof IPA. Spot on. Next up, the SLS, we are going to be using around about 20 to 25 millilitres of this, so not very much. There we go, a tiny bit more. Perfect. And an optional extra is you can use about half a milliliter, just a tiny amount of dye, so it helps you see the level of the product in the bottle. That is an optional extra, you don't have to worry about that. And if you are putting dye in it, don't put tons in there, just a little bit, just to help you see it. And give it a stir. You can pump that up and use it, voila, one litre of panel wipe. 
Let's go through the ingredients we use and why we're using them. First up, IPA or isopropyl alcohol. So this is an alcohol-based solvent, you know, in that, in that range of alcohol-based solvents like ethanol and methanols, your nose basically, there's loads of other ones. IPA within those um, alcohol-based range of solvents is supposed to be the most effective uh, dissolving oil, okay? And as well as dissolving oil, when it kind of vaporizes, it takes away that oil with it, leaving your panel clean, okay, and free of oil. So we'll come back to the word free a little bit in a little bit later on. So that's your that's why you use IPA. So it's an effective solvent for oils, maybe not the perfect one. Next up, deionized water. Whenever you're making water-based products at home, use this rather than kind of tap water. Even if you're making your own kind of cleaners, you know, on APCs, use distilled water, never use tap water. Um, last one, SLS, okay, or SLES, sodium laurel ether sulfate. This is a, um, a surficant, a detergent, basically. So what, what this does is foaming agent used in lots of kind of cleaning products within the detailing industry and outside of the detailing industry so um what this what this does generally is it's a cleaning agent a detergent uh a surficant which means it you know it, it lowers the surface tension of what you're you're uh, cleaning so if you've got oils and stuff on there it'll help to break them down in this particular blend it also acts as an emulsifier so if you've got oil on your panel and you've got this product, this will help that panel white blend in with the oil. Or it will help the two components merge together and mix up, which is what you're trying to achieve. So using a little bit of um, um, sodium laurel ether sulfate in your panel white will make it slightly more effective than just IPA and water. You do not need to use a lot of it. If you use loads, you know, if you use more than, we're using a, about 2.5% here. If you used more than four or five percent, it would become too soapy, and it would almost like be spraying soapy water on the panel. You don't really want to see all the soap and stuff, but just a small amount of it in there helps as it acts like an emulsifier. Right, that's what all the stuff does. Next thing I want to do with this video is go into the area of advantages of disadvantages of doing this. So. Um, the well-informed, you know, or the discerning viewer here, and I've got some clever people watching these videos that are cleverer than me, so I'm always careful what I say. But you hear, you hear IPA gets stick sometimes, being talked of as prehistoric, you know, it's no older than any other solvent, but, um, or the thing I hear is that IPA will not get all of the um, polishing oils off of your panels. Um, I also hear that it can be a bit harsh, um, compared to some other forms of solvent. So there's different sort of criticisms being slung at IPA and we're gonna elaborate on those. Um, what I can say is some premium panel white products out there avoid using IPA for the fact that they don't get, or they, they don't get all of the oil residue off. So they might leave a very tiny amount, you know, a trace element of the oil on the panel. So some don't use it and advertise the fact they don't use it for that reason. Other premium panel wipes, quite a few from, from uh, detailing brands, use IPA um, you know, in a similar sort of concentration. And I have other, other things in there as well. This is still relatively simple, um, but there are still some, some good brands that are doing IPA panel wipes. So, you know, we've covered, we've just, we've just covered a little bit about, about some of the sort of negatives and the positives, and now we need to go into those further. So do I believe all of the negative stuff that's thrown around at IPA? Is it, do I think it's just kind of talk and this stuff is fine? You don't need to use anything else. Well, first of all, you know, the product information on all, on, from every brand that's out there that tells you about their products will always say that it's effective. You know, they'll never talk about the limitations and stuff like that. So, you know, you could read one bottle that's using an IPA-based panel wipe and it will tell you that it does this and it does that and then you could read another one that doesn't use IPA and it will tell you why it doesn't and then you end up not knowing which one to believe. So as a guy at home in his garage you know I want to kind of I'm always looking to try and see if I can 
back up any of the, the claims about you know this IPA not being effective versus other forms of solvent with kind of polishing oils in particular. Because that's where you get through 99% of this stuff, you know, when you're polishing a car and you're trying to get that oil off of there. Now, I'll say this, I cannot tell using on cars and using my IPA mix to wipe, wipe the polish residue off. I can't really tell the difference from, from the finish that's left behind. I can't feel it being oily. I can't sort of tell if I apply a sealant and I've only used an IPA wipe down. That sealant doesn't last as long as one if I'd used a kind of premium non-IPA panel wipe. So I was getting to the stage where I, I would have to trust the information from the manufacturers, which is, you know, you can trust some of them, but the problem is all of them say they're good, even the ones that are IPA based. So it's hard to know. The thing that, that, that did it for me was something very simple, and it wasn't from using it on cars. It was from actually using these products on the good old white ball behind me. So what I noticed when I'm playing 501s with my mate Stuart, um, you know, playing darts, and you're, you're writing the score up on here constantly with the white ball markers, ink, effectively, I guess, that um, the more you use the board and the more you go over it with this horrible little whiteboard rubber which is all dirty and covered with old ink and oils, um, the less affected the pens would be. So I would use my IPA mix on a piece of um, paper towel to wipe this board down and after I did that the, the pen would come back to life a little bit okay but it would still be a little bit translucent and eventually you get to the stage where there's nothing there and you can barely see it and you're sort of shaking the pen thinking it's the pen's fault. And one day I was out of IPA mixed and I used I used the Built Hamburg cleansing fluid, you know, a, pr a kind of premium cleansing fluid that isn't IPA based to clean my whiteboard in exactly the same way. And after I'd done that, instead of the pen just being a little bit better, the pen was like brand new. So it wasn't, it wasn't the pen drying up or running out of ink, it was the fact that the surface of the whiteboard still had, a, I think, a small amount of kind of oils and stuff left from left from the previous kind of uh, things I'd written there. So I could first for the first time I could actually notice a difference in performance between my homebrew IPA which a lot of people use a rough IPA mix with that sort of ratio maybe not not with the SLS in it. Um, so that made me straight away kind of uh, realize that this is more effective at least on the whiteboard um, but it was it was the first time I could ever actually see the difference, so that was a that was like a, a eureka moment for me <laughs> in the garage. So the compromise and the tip and the method of working with, with panel wipes that I suggest and recommend is as follows. When you are polishing a car, you use homemade panel wipe, and you could just use IPA and water if you want, but the SLS will make it slightly more effective. Um, you just use your homemade panel wipe because the cost of it this is about 15 pounds and this is about one pound 50 for 500 mil you know three quid roughly per per liter um, so it's almost a tenth more than a tenth of the cost and it's a negligence it's getting to that category of negligible cost almost if you use a premium panel wipe and you're a professional detailer and you get through 500 milliliters of this per car and you're doing you know, you could do five liters of this, five liters of this easily in a, in a week. You could be spending 50 quid a week on premium panel wipe. And if you times that by say 50 weeks of the year, that two weeks off for a holiday, you're allowed a break. 50 times 50 is two and a half grand. So potentially you could be saving yourself two and a half grand offset with the cost of that. So maybe around two grand you could save yourself a year in chemical costs. Now, how I use it, is that when I'm polishing a car, I will use the IPA mix with the SLS because that will help a little bit to get 99%, 99.9% of the oils off of the car when I'm doing compounding sets, etc., polishing sets. And the final set, I'll use it as well. And if I'm applying a wax, I'll not bother if I'm using a paste wax, I'll not bother going over it with the cleanser fluid because most of the waxes have got oils in them as well and don't rely on you know, bonding, needing a clean surface as much, as exceptions to all rules there, but 99% of the paste waxes go straight on top of a relatively clean surface. Bonding sealants 
that, that benefit from a prepped clean surface or ceramics, if I'm applying ink like that, um, I will just spritz um, the cleaner fluid onto a short terry cloth, a good quality terry cloth, not a big fluffy buffing cloth because it will just get absorbed. So short, good quality terry cloth. And I will just give the panel a final quick wipe down for any of that trace oil that's left that the IPA solution hasn't removed to get rid of that. And I'll literally be using five or six spritzes to go around that whole car because it's virtually clean. It's clean as you can feel it. You know, you can't feel that there's oil left in there, but I believe there is, and I believe the companies are right about what they say about IPA. So this way I use hardly any of this product, but I get the panel, um, I get the panel clean and prepped properly for a sealant. So I get the best of both worlds, I get all the oils off there, but I don't spend a fortune doing it. And that is how I would recommend you do it. And the more of the st this stuff you use, especially if you're a professional, um, the more I recommend you take this method. Um, there is one other thing, if you are really into it, you could look to develop yourself a panel wipe like this using a petroleum distillate or other form of solvent that is more effective at getting all of the oil off of the car and then vaporizing away and taking that oil with it. Um, the problem with that is to do that effectively would be a reasonable investment of time. You know, you get, you know, it's not what we do, is it? But you could do it or you could use like a panel wipe product like the Tetraseal panel wipe just spritzed on a cloth as well which is a very high concentration of mineral spirit or I've got a ton of different solvents that are petroleum distillates, aromatic, low aromatic that are miscible in water that I could potentially play around with and make a more effective panel wipe than IPA but I would don't know if I could get it where it need to be and I don't know if I could test it properly and all that and because I'm only using a couple of spritz of the premium product the cost savings in me messing around with that for hours trying to come up with something is just not worth it so this method gives you the best of both worlds you save a ton of money but when you need to get all of the oils off you use the products that will do it sparingly so that is the forensic detailing homebrew panel wipe video. Um, let me know what you're using. Let me know your thoughts on this whole effectiveness of IPA based panel wipes versus non IPA based ones and what you do. I suspect there's a few people out there that are making or using stronger kind of panel wipes because of the deficiencies in IPA and that might have a good view on how effective and how to formulate a kind of effective homebrew petroleum distillate panel, panel wipe as opposed to an IPA one. A hell of a lot of detailers all around the world are using IPA and uh, water based, you know, IPA and water effectively to make their own panel wipe. This is just slightly improved on that, so I'd recommend you do use the SLS. So it is effective, it's not a complete turkey, but on the flip side, the information that I think some of the other companies that are offering alternatives, that's not BS. There, there is some truth into it that other forms of solvent are more effective. Like I say, you're going to struggle to prove it on a car. And my layman's test was the whiteboard. And I don't know if that's a 100% representation. It won't be. But it, does, it did give me the confidence to say that these products are better. So that's how I've, I've formed my opinion. So there we go. That's the video. So thank you very much for tuning into the Forensics Detailing channel. I will see you soon. Got some more videos coming along probably next week and uh, we'll keep rolling on as always. Take care for now. Bye.